What's going on, YouTubes? So today, uh, I'm going to be changing out the battery in my uh, Honda Foreman Rubicon. Uh, the original battery is finally taking a dump, and uh, just because, and I'm mildly curious what the upgrade is actually going to be and how it's going to hold up. We're actually going to replace this battery with a lithium battery instead of a lead acid, just to see how well it actually works out in the end so to do so starters just remove the seat those of you who don't know how to change your battery out this little latch in the back next you're gonna grab this pull up really hard pull up unhook this guy pull this out Okay, next thing you're going to do, unhook these two dudes, take those off, and then you've got your little clip that just holds on like so, that holds your battery in. We're going to pull that out and measure the battery, see what it looks like. Alright, so there's the battery pulled out, it just simply pulls straight up, um, and there it is. It's actually significantly heavier than I expected it to be. But anyhow, we're going to measure this guy, and then we're going to order a battery that's at least the same width and length. Uh, a lot of these batteries are, the lithiums are actually shorter, so what we'll have to wind up probably doing is cutting a piece of wood or something to put underneath it to make it the same height so our strap will be the same height as original and work and all that stuff. So I'm going to do that, order the battery, in a week or so it'll come in, and through the power of editing... It'll be like, all right, so here's the new battery. I'm holding the package. Let's get it out, see what it looks like. Okay, so in the package, you get the battery, which is drastically smaller than the other battery, and a bunch of spacers so that you can make the battery the same height as your original. And I'll tell you what, there is a massive difference in the weight of these two batteries like I'm gonna weigh them out just to show just exactly what the difference is I'll put that right here but it's drastic um, now this battery here does say it is a five ish 10 amp hour <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean um, this here is five point one watt four amp hour capacity is what it says. So we'll see. So anyhow, step one, we need to make this battery the same height as that battery. And there we go, two spacers, and they're pretty much the exact same size. And yeah, we're just gonna pop these dudes off attach it to the ATV and I'm not going to do anything besides drop it in and see if it works. I'm not going to charge it or anything. I will take and take a uh, reading to see what it actually is right now. Um, but just like anybody else would do, just hook it up and see if it works like you would one from the store and see what we get. 12.9 pounds, 2.8 pounds or two pounds. 2.8 pounds. Yeah, 2.8 pounds. 10 pounds lighter than this one. All right, battery's hooked up. I didn't do anything with the terminals. I didn't put it on a battery charger. I didn't need nothing. I can't even find my meter, so I don't even know what the temperature is or the voltage is. So, turn the key. Hey, it lights up. Look at that. Right out of the box. Didn't charge it, didn't do anything. It actually cranked for quite a while, so. Cool. Alright, let me button this stuff up. And, uh, yeah. But, 10 pound weight reduction. Cost 20 bucks less than the factory battery. And works right out of the box. I don't do anything. Win, win, win. Oh yeah, guys, it works just like factory battery just literally bolt it in and go 
no fancy chargers to buy, no wiring to do, nothing. Two bolts, one strap, bingo, bingo, done, bolted up, it's ready to go. The thing starts faster, starts better than it did when it was new. Um, like I said, it's been sitting for, I don't know how many months. Um, and the old battery was completely stone dead. So yeah, I have no idea how long it's been sitting for. And yeah, it just cranked and cranked and cranked, boom. You know, and then the second time I fired it up, it was like instantaneous. So, uh, wish I had my meter. And if I can find one, I'll show you, but uh, it's running the accessories, the lights and stuff just fine. Um, all that's good. I want to go take it for a ride to see what it does, but I think we're all good to go. So I say this one's is definitely approved. Uh, 10 pound weight reduction and it was cheaper than the exact same replacement battery from AutoZone or from Amazon. Like Amazon, the replacement battery was like 200 plus dollars or whatever. Uh, they had like some $40 Junko battery that would replace it. And I was like, I'm not even buying that. Um, but this thing's lighter and it will hold the charge better over long periods. The only thing I'm serious about is like cold weather. So like tomorrow morning, I'm going to fire the thing up when it's dead cold outside and see if it makes any difference. I really don't think it will. But anyhow, SoCal Sniper signing off. But in the bottom, there's a, the affiliate link to this battery. Check it out.